welcome. Today I will be showing you some basics of Blender 2.9 fluid simulations. So with that, let's get straight into this tutorial. So over here in Blender, to make fluid simulations work, you're going to need at least two objects. Once you have at least two objects, you can then go into the physics tab and click fluid once you have one of your items selected. Because I'm on the large one, I click domain, which is basically where the water can go. It cannot go out of the domain. Then under the domain settings, you can change the gas to liquid and then scroll down and select mesh. This will make it so that it's not emitting particles and it is actually a fluid D type look. And then you can change it the type to all under the settings. So those are the basic settings to get the fluid to work. I will come back to them once we have fluid actually being emitted. So under the second object, you can go uh, add fluid again and then go to type flow and then flow type to liquid and finally type behavior to inflow. Now that you have all this, you can go select the larger domain again and then click bake all. Once you have selected bake all, you will then see fluid being emitted once it finishes baking the simulation. So now when you play back your animation, you can now see fluid being emitted from whatever your emitter object is. And as you can see, the domain is in effect, but it is invisible when you play it, the animation back. And if you want to make the fluid smooth, then you can shade it smooth like I just did. So if you want any settings to change, then you're gonna have to select free all. This basically makes it so that you'll have to bake all when you have changed your settings to what you want them to be. So let's get into the settings a little bit more. So the resolution, like it sounds like, or like it normally is, it makes it look better, but with the cost of harder to render. Then the time scale is just how fast the fluid is gonna be moving, which can be useful if you want more of a time-lapse look or slow motion. But now I'm gonna scroll down to the setting that I think is the most useful in fluid settings because it allows you to choose like how thick it is, more of a slime type look or more of a water type look. And this setting is actually under diffusion. So if you check mark diffusion, then you'll be able to change these settings. So, and you can hit the drop down arrow to see them. So there's a base and an exponent. This is how you control how thick it is and basically how the fluid looks. The exponent changes it the most. So here is an example of exponent zero, five, and 10. So as you can see, the zero is like way more thick than the five or the 10. You can't tell as much difference between 5 and 10 but there still is a difference so this is the main setting I usually change if you want a specific fluid type look so that's just the basics of the fluid settings the ones that I find the most useful but now I want to mention a problem that you may be having and then how to fix it so this issue mainly occurs when you have a plane or another really flat object as your effector. So the effector just blocks the fluid or as your flow type that is emitting the fluid. This will typically just cause it that it doesn't work at all. Like this example of me trying to play back this animation. So to fix this, turn your surface up to uh, from zero to 0.8. And that should solve your issue, and as you can see from me, it did solve it. I hope you found this useful, along with being able to now create some cool water simulations. So if you were wondering what this material was, just as a bonus, then here is a screenshot of that. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!